Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday. It feels like Sunday to me. Today is Saturday. I want to go live. I just realized we haven't gone live in a long time. I don't know how busy today is going to get, but if it doesn't get busy, then I'm going to try and go live. Um, so, you guys know we've been cleaning out the trailer. So we decided to bring home all these DVDs. We do not watch DVDs anymore. Do you guys watch DVDs? Like, I would love to share the Golden Compass with my grandkids. I would love... No way, I do not love that movie. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Do you guys remember that? I would love to share that with my grandkids. We have so many movies that I would love to share with them. I don't even think we have a DVD player anymore. We have smart TVs and we use apps and, and online videos. We don't use DVDs anymore. Back when the girls were really little, we had those handheld machines. We used to take them to the trailer with us. You know, they were kind of small and you pop the bottom part open and put the DVD in and then it played on the screen, kind of like a handheld device for DVDs. I want one of those again. I think that would be really fun. I want two. I think it would be great for my grandkids for when they come here. We never have much time to watch DVDs when they're here, but I always want to watch them. So I'm gonna put these away, save them, and hopefully find something that we can play them on. Do you, um, do any of you guys know, do they still sell those? The personalized DVD players? Today, the horses are taking advantage of this beautiful sun and having a nap. Sam and I are taking advantage of it being a Saturday and getting free of our children. I feel bad saying that I like to get free of my children. Do you like to get free of our children? I, you are always free of them. Like, I literally am with them 24 hours a day all the time, and because they're girls, like, I don't know. I never get free of them and sometimes I'd like to get free of them and that's never really ever happened to me before in my life. All I can say is this, I love them, I love being with them, I'm so grateful for every single second that I get to spend with them, but for the first time in my life, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Like soon, like in the next five, seven years, Sam and I are gonna, well, seven years, yeah, eight years, Sam and I are gonna be alone. Like we're gonna be alone and we're gonna have each other and we're gonna like get to really party and be together are you excited for that he's not <laughs> excited he's like i need a break from you too is that what you're thinking you better not be you're gonna get sick of me yeah oh yeah that, that could happen too but i mean as long as we're not just sitting at home and i want to work and he doesn't then i won't get sick of him if we're out going for coffee visiting friends like we haven't had friends in so many years because we've devoted so much of our time to our kids so yeah i'm excited i'm excited for the light at the end of the tunnel apparently everybody came for coffee this morning saturday morning and the lineup is this long since we're stuck in traffic i wanted to tell you guys about chino give you a little bit of an update so our farrier doesn't think that he has like a grass founder a true grass founder um and he said that we should be able to put him back on the grass but i feel like god is telling me not to do that i feel like i've did i've done so much research and did you guys know that low grade founder low grade founder can cause bruises can cause horses to bruise easily on the bottom of their feet low grade founder can cause like a flattening of the foot Low grade founder is something like where they don't fully go into like a founder episode, kind of like what Stella did, like a founder flare is what our vet called it. But horses, especially in the spring, can have this low grade founder that nobody really pays attention to because it doesn't develop into anything. And the horse can just kind of be off for a little bit or be off and on, off, kind of like Storm. Storm was like that last year. It makes me really wonder and because when we bought Chino, he had kind of like a funny shape to his feet. I always wondered if he was like a, a horse that was prone to laminitis or if he's had it before. I really feel like God is telling me not to put him back on the grass. And so there's a little bit of grass in his paddock and we will take him and hand walk him every day and let him have a little bit of grass. Grass is really good for him. Uh, but I don't think I'm ever gonna put him back on full grass. There's an egg! There's an egg! Peter, All right. good luck. Pay me your good luck. I'm excited. 
One day when we have like a big huge farm, we will have every color egg you can imagine. These are what we use for our chicken eggs. Those can stay out here. They're from the trailer. Good girls! Oh, it's a light. Wait, don't touch it yet. <laughs> it's like we're all dying. Which one of you girls did it? I think either one of the white. I complained to dad in the car. I'm like, those eggs chickens are supposed to be laying this week. What the heck? What's taking them so long? Oh my gosh, look at it. It's brown. It's pink. Yeah, it's not even brown. It's I, I think cute. it's from one of the white girls. It's little. We always give our chickens oyster shells. I swear to God that that is why they lay so many devils. Okay. So I'm going to go get some. <laughs> <laughs> Egg. I didn't have my egg today. I'm so excited. It's pretty. I'm pretty perfect. It. I'm cracking it. I think it's from the white chickens. I really feel like one of our chickens is a boy. It's one of the white. Yeah, see that one with the head sticking up? With the head sticking up at the back, the white guy? Yeah, that guy right there. You see him? I think it's a boy, but Sam keeps saying, like, we don't ever hear him crowing. He has a really long tail. His crown is huge. He's and tall. Really red. Mm hmm. Like, doesn't he look like a boy? Ruby, don't chase my chickens. You don't my chase egg. my chickens. Look at my egg. I know, I'm so excited. And then um, the chicken will lay um, not tomorrow, but the other day. Yeah, probably the next day. But they should all start laying now. Every day holds the possibility of a miracle, and no matter who you are, Chickens laying eggs for us to eat is a miracle. It's a big I told miracle. To a huge first. miracle. And what did Peyton say? Nothing. She didn't see it? Well, I don't think she was looking. Oh. One of you girls are good. I think it's one of the brown ones. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but lately, Storm has been mad at Gabby. I showed in yesterday's video, she was like running up to him in the field, and he tried to like kick out at her not to hurt her but he kicked out and basically he's been running from her lately like never before would he ever run away from her Oh no, Finny. He has a big belly. Sam's gonna buy steak for Father's Day tomorrow. It's Father's Day in Canada tomorrow. And he also went to get more wood to finish my chicken run, which I'm excited. Little Miss Puppy all on her own. Come on. Oh my goodness, what are you eating? I knew that was gonna happen. Molly, come here, Molly. Molly. Molly, watch what happens. Good girl. Come here, Molly. Molly. Good girl. Good girl. Give me it. We do not eat hoofs. We are not a hoof eating family. Ew. That's disgusting. Ew. The smell. She's never going to leave me alone now. She wants it. Since Chino's going to be alone in the field for a little while while Gabby rides. I'm able to throw him some extra hay. Get out. You can't come in. I'm going to throw it for you, okay? I feel really bad for him. He doesn't understand why he doesn't get to go out and ride. But if you guys saw yesterday's video, you'll know that he is still lame. Need to get this boy a bucket. I threw, I threw that hoof thing in here and now I can't find it. Don't eat any hoof. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Here, let me dump it for you. There you go. Oh, dude. So since he's in the field alone, I'm able to give him as much hay as he wants, as much hay as he'll eat. But if you guys see, if you can see down there, he hasn't even, even, he hasn't even eaten all of his breakfast. He's definitely the kind of horse that you can throw as much food as you want at him and he only eats until he's full. 
which is great if you are a fat horse, but when you're a skinny horse, it's not so great. In all my reading, it says to study your horse's hoof droppings. So all the pieces that came off your hoof. So this, this is piece the best. Yeah. So whoa. I mean, they do stink. But they said that you'll notice a change in them over time, and then that's when you notice there's a problem. But... This one's cool. I don't know. I, I just can't see it. It's they are cool. kind of cool, aren't they? Like, this look. one is cool. This so... Like oh, she's practicing. The problem is this. They're practicing for the farrier, but the problem is this. Our horses and our dogs know us, love us, do anything for us, and then the farrier comes along and they're like, Ew, don't touch me. Get away from me. Somebody's really upset that her friend is gone. Her friend left. Her friend is getting worked. Kaylee, come back. We need you to ride Gracie. So we're going to have to decrease the amount of hay that Finn gets in the afternoon. In the night. In the night time. Because, whoa. My legs. Love that. Like, I've never seen that before. He could just have grass bloat right now. Mom, you know what kind of mascara I swear by now? What? All the dollar store ones that are good. You like it? Yeah, because the one that you bought is really good. You just have to have a little bit of product on the thing. Do you have it on now? Yeah, along with another one. Gabby wants to try a martingale, but he's been really good without the martingale. I know, but last time I walked him to the thing, and he still tried to rear. But this should hopefully make him not rear. Or make him flip over. Who knows? Well, I or did not. I did not check and if this. If you break it, you die. Have we ever ridden him in one before? Yes, we used to ride him in this. Oh. All the time. What? Do you have one? Okay. So, um, I'm going to save up my money for a miniature Lemu saddle pad for Willow because this one's a bit small. All right, a pony one. I think that's a great idea. Brad, did you brush her? Yes. Gracie's screaming for Willow, and then every time Gracie screams, Chino screams. Alright, so we got a lot going on here today. We have uh, Gabby in the middle ring. We got Susie on the outer ring, or vice versa. Sophie playing with the pony. I'm in the middle. Sophie's in the middle. And then we have Sam in the background cutting the grass so I can't, nobody can hear me. It's like a stuffed turkey. You can't do anything. Hard to fight when your guts are bulging. Some people think that because Sophie doesn't ride all the time outside of lessons that she doesn't isn't made for horses. No, let me try the other side. This side but in reality, horses are different for everybody. Gabby's had coffee today because she's out there talking to herself. So, did you get steak for Father's Day for tomorrow? Father's Day is not tomorrow though. Oh, good. I'm not prepared. Really When's Father's Day? It's the 20 something. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, it's the 14th tomorrow. Oh, all right. So, should we have steak tonight then? Well, that's what I said. Why don't we just have steak tonight? Right, let's do it. Steak tonight. Oh, look at that. You've been out all day. I feel Finn. like, yeah, you've been loving it. <laughs> Finn, I need you to win more of it. Okay, so you win this. Yes, you look at it. But this is okay too. Finn, you keep winning dirty. Red or blue, Finny, that's all you're allowed to know. There's Finn no other color. Red. 
He only wins me red. Yeah, you only won Finn. Pink. You only won no. red on Finn. He is a champion already. He is a champion already. Yeah, but after a week, something doesn't feel right. Mrs. Gabby and Stormy Night, here they are together again. Earlier I was saying that Storm seems mad at Gabby lately. She does still ride him at least once a week, but he definitely doesn't seem as in love with her as he used to be. So we are definitely gonna do, does my horse still love me? And see, who knows, for the first time in two years, we may have a different result. So the reason that Gabby always rides Storm still is to keep him t tuned up. And another odd thing is that Storm only bucks as long as you let him buck, as long as he thinks he can do it. Once you get smart and say stop it, he does stop. Is he the one? Could I find a better one? for supper. Doesn't it look so good? You guys, it smells amazing. I know. We brought home all of the dishes from the trailer and now we have it's so really empty. Yeah.